Okay, y'all. So these are the plants I got from a store. This is lemon cucumber. I got 10 of these in like the one thing. I think I paid, no, I really can't remember, either $3.98 or $5.98. It's from the big box store. And then over here, we have some squash. Now these guys are getting out of hand. And these are, I think, butternut squash. So we're, I know it's a little bit early, but they're growing and I can either up pot them or I can put them in the ground. And I've decided to put them in the ground. So hello, you guys. My name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel, My Garden and Me. Um, so that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, it's going to be short. It's going to be sweet. I only want to mess with these things once. So hopefully they get what they need. Quickly, before I go outside, I want to show you um, my garlic <laughs> that I've harvested from a couple weeks ago now. So let me show you. Hold on. So these are the first set of garlics that I harvested. And as you can see, they're totally dried off right now. Some of them are super tiny, right? Yeah, these are the hardneck garlic, the Siberian hardnecks. And they're totally ready to go to be harvested and put away. So we're going to be doing that at some point. Um, I have the next couple of days off. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. I haven't been feeling well. Um, but we're going to get some stuff done regardless. Um, so we are just going to get these guys uh, ready um, and put away. These ones are going to be mostly for eating. The second set I harvested... Or these little bunch. And if you're looking at the little fur stuff right there, it's from these guys. They're so messy, y'all. The parakeets, they're so messy. <laughs> look at look at what they do. So every couple of days we have to come in here and we have to like clean it up because they do that. Yes, mother yes, mother. I'm recording. You okay? It move? Oh, I'm a Scotland. Okay, well, that's excellent. That's excellent. I'm glad. I will tell you. I will, of course. Anyway, so this is the other garlic that I pulled out, which we need to put away and start using because, as you can see, that's separated. Right? And then, so this is the second set. Now, these guys are looking pretty awesome. And they're also ready to be cut and put away and just processed. These guys, I've been turning them every day. I can't wait for my house to get back to what it needs to be. Um, these are, these, the Siberian hardnecks. Yeah, they look like the Siberian hardnecks. I've been just turning them over every day, like so, just to make sure they're being aired out properly. The same thing, these are uh, Siberian hardnecks, and these are the Amazon ones that I pulled last. And then over here is the Italian purple. And I've been doing the same thing. So this one right here, I can tell I ripped it right there. So you got to get it out. So yeah, we're going to clean all of this stuff up. Store-bought onions, y'all. I cannot wait ah, to pull my own. Um, but yeah, we're going to do process these first. And then these guys on the here. We're going to give these guys maybe two or three more days before we do anything. I know it looks awful over here and I got to get it fixed. It looks bad. Okay. I'm up by the garden and, um, I'm going to get these things planted. I'm out of breath. You guys, give me a sec. Um, anyways, uh, but I wanted to show you, look at this. This is so, so cool. Hold on. Oh, I have a garden gate. <laughs> oh my god i've been begging and pleading for one of this but look at this we're gonna put a handle on here but for now ah, look how easy that was let me show you again because i'm super excited about it look it it's closed it's closed it's closed and then i go in and just like that i'm in amazing amazing Okay, um, so my next thing is to figure out where to put these plants. 
I've planted cucumbers over here. I planted cucumbers over there. They've never grown. I have not planted any over there. So, and then butternut squash, I've planted them. They've never grown. So, yeah, y'all, my onions are bulbing up. <laughs> And I never did fertilize them, y'all. I never did. But they're bulbing up. Look at that. Not cool. I'm gonna let them be. <laughs> Excited about that too. So we're just gonna keep watering them because they love water. And we're gonna go with that. Um, this is gonna be my green bean bed, y'all. Uh, oh, look at the potatoes. Like, just a couple of days, and look at this. And, of course, because these animals are stupid, they, I'm going to have to fill this thing up, because um, it's right on top. I'm going to have to put some more soil in here, because they keep digging, y'all. But I'm super excited about this, you guys. Look at that. Now, I've had potatoes grown. But I've never had this many or this big a bed. So I have a potato bed here and I have a potato bed right over there. I'm going to put my finger out of the way so it can focus. But right there. And this onion is starting to tip over and split. But look it. Now if you're wondering what happened to my finger. Y'all. Something got my chicken. And this morning... I went in um, and I was like, oh, let me go in and see what's going on. Dude. One of my chickens got attacked and I was just too late. And it was literally too late getting in there. So um, she died. Um, I've been working the last three days, so I haven't been here. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so back to that story. While I was rushing in the chicken coop, um, my fingernail got caught on the chicken wire and literally ripped it halfway through. I didn't even feel it. And even now, yes, it's painful, but it's, it's not that bad, but I'm going to have to cut it, but I would like for it to grow out a little bit more. So this is why I have this. Um, whew, we, um, so yeah. I, I don't know what attacked the chicken. It doesn't look like a raccoon because most of the chicken is still there. It, and then I was talking, I told my uh, husband about it and he said, oh, there was a hawk over there. And I'm just like, oh, great. So it must have been a hawk because they couldn't pull it out because it, the, the coop is covered, but half of it is open. They, they must not have been able to pull it open. I do see sprouts from my other potato bed. I was like starting to worry there. Yep, I see some coming up. Let me show you. So look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. I don't see any other sprouts coming up, y'all. These are the actual seed potatoes that I got from the store. And this whole all around here is planted. So I have... um reds in here and i have yellows in here kennebec and red norland uh those charts are looking good uh some of these are ready y'all yeah some of them are already splitting but we're gonna let them be for a little bit uh there was one in particular that i saw this one this is definitely white now, I could have left this baby in for a little while, but curiosity, this is me. I had to see. So, I'm going to let that hang out for here. And this one, whoo, big mama, big mama, big, big mama. Whoa. Well, hello, baby. Y'all, are you, are you guys seeing that? Big mama. Okay, I'm excited. This one is a little on the small side. You see, some of them are really big. 
specimen of his super small. This one is ginormous. <sighs> well, we'll see what we get. We're just going to let him hang out. I don't see any splitting on anything else. It's easy to tell on the other one. This one looks about done, y'all. Hold on. And here's why I got. See, all of these are falling down. Whoa. Not bad. We're going to let the ground dry out a little bit, and then we're going to harvest. And then here's the splitting of the onion that I'm talking about. Almost fell, y'all. Look at that. This is the stalk. And then look at that. And there's another one coming through. Ooh, right there. See it? Right there. Can y'all, hold on. Can y'all see that? There's another one coming up. Look at this lemon thyme, y'all. It hasn't even started flowering yet. Just a little onesie twosie there. But it's bushed back up really nice and it smells so amazing. This one's already started to flower. That one's already started. And these are the common times. Anyways, you guys, I came out here to plant cucumbers and stuff. And I'm over here just like puttering, the, puttering around the garden. I can't help myself. I really can't. I think it's time for this guy to go. It's just time. It looks pitiful. Surprisingly enough, the Floridaid is perking back up, y'all. With multiple blossoms. So we're going to leave that there. Oh, and then look at this, y'all. Super excited. Look at it. It's, this plant is just so healthy. Look at that. It's so healthy. I'm so excited about it. Yeah. So I hope it continues to do everything that it's doing right now. Y'all, I still don't have any flowering on my blueberry, but I do have lots of buds. Lots and lots of buds, but no actual leaves popping up. So, to the real project. <laughs> Woo! Almost fell, y'all, sorry. Where to plant these? So, this is the lemon. And this is the uh, butternut. And you can see the roots are getting out of control. They are, especially this one. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants in here. So, yeah. I'm going to plant them, y'all, and see what they do. I think I'm going to put the cucumbers right here. And the butternut squash, I'm going to put all along here so they can grow up and over and onto the fence right here. But then I think I'm going to be blocking the afternoon sun coming through here. So it's like, ah, maybe, maybe what I'll do is, even though they're not going to be completely in sun, is plant them all along here. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Um, this bed was a complete fail. I had carrots in here. I had beets in here. I have kale in here. You can see some here and there. Um, I'm not going to try to mess with them too much. Um, there's even one over there. So we're just going to put that over here, and then we're going to get the garden watered. Oh, this makes me so happy. Look at it. It's so pretty. Coming back. And these onions, y'all. Oh, onions make me happy every year. So let me get these planted, and then I'll get back at you. Hold on. And just like that, y'all, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven butternut squash planted. <laughs> going to water them in. Um, let's get this out of here. Um, and then over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One of them was broken in half, so I just buried it under the soil. So that's nine lemon cucumbers. So I don't think I need that many, but you know, I have to share with these animals. So I always plant an abundance of whatever it is I'm planting, just so that if they eat one or two or three or five plants, I still have enough to keep on growing. Um, anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and water the garden right now. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, y'all, subscribing does not cost y'all a thing. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye. So y'all know how I've been saying that these uh, red Creole are looking amazing. Y'all, look, what, look what's happened. Ah! Look what is happening. Oh, my goodness. That's not cool. That is definitely not cool. Too early for y'all. Oh, his fingers aching, y'all. Too early. Look. Look at that. I don't see any more. But look at this. But why? I knew it was too good to be true. These guys don't seem to be doing it. The red Creole, however, not nah, no bueno. I don't see any over here.